Hey, yo, you see what it is? It's Bodega Flea, hot new hip hop, and this is my top five. Hey, yo, it's Bodega Flea, hot new hip hop, and this is my top five things to do back at home. At five, I would like to go shopping, you know, shopping, going to Nordstrom, going to, you know, the Fendi store, the Gucci store, the Louis store, the Prada store, you know. Uh, obviously going to kick stores. So that's, that's, that's at number five. Number four, places to eat. You know, I'm Dominican, so I definitely love to go to like El Conde, El Malicón. I got places where you can find nice steak, nice rice and beans. Um, I also like, uh, obviously, Prime 112. At Prime, you usually spend like, probably like, <laughs> a band, you know. We, we usually go in groups. So, you know, it'll be a, a whole bunch of people and the bill will be probably like 5K, nine bands. Sometimes my friends just spend like nine bands in Miami at Poppy State. Bro, I think, I think New York is, uh, I think New York's food is like probably the best food in, I don't want to say that because LA got some fire food, Miami got some fire food, you know, Houston got some fire food, but I'll be honest with you, in New York, there's so much competition and there's so much like, I'll give you an example. Your man is selling pizza in, in the Bronx a block away for $3. Your other man is selling it for two, and then you got another man selling slices for $1 in New York. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's so much competition, so you basically gotta be, you, if you're in New York and you're making food, you gotta make sure that's top-notch food and you really gotta put love into your food. And you know, you'll win. Number three top things to do, you know, play sports. Like, I love to play basketball. I used to play ball back in the day. So it's something, you know, will never leave. Like, I would go to like New York, play ball. You know, you got Dykeman, you go to Jersey, you play ball in Cliffside, you go to Teaneck, Englewood, you know. Basically just playing basketball. Oh, nah, I, I, I was serious, man. I went, to, I went to like three colleges. I went to Barry, I went to Southern Vermont. I went to Johnson State and, you know, just play ball, man. In, in high school, I went to John F. Kennedy in New York. We lost to Lance Stevenson in the city championship at Madison Square Garden. Probably my best, one of my best games that I played is when, in Jersey. When I played in Jersey in Cliffside Park High School, I played against Englewood. I dropped like 37. Yeah, it was, it was love. Number two, basically go to the clubs. If you want to talk about the clubs, you know, Starlitz is definitely one of the popping strip clubs to go to in New York City. You got Opus in, in Dykeman. You got 1111, which is the formerly playroom in Dykeman. Uh, you know, if you go downtown, you got Tile, you got Marquee, you know. New York got clubs, but Miami's on a different level, bro. Miami's on a different level. Miami's, you know, you got Live, you got Story, you got Booby Trap. And the thing is that New York got a lot of sauce, you know, like New York is, New York is home. So New York at the end of the day, like I told you once again, you know, it's competition. Like everybody's so like, that growing up in New York is everybody, you gotta be on top of yourself for everything, whether it's clothes, fashion, anything. Like you could go to certain places and people could see you chill wearing vans and stuff like that and people could just, but in New York, if you don't got the hottest shoes, if you don't got the hottest, you know, it's, it's fast paced. It's, you gotta get up and go get it because if not, you're gonna stay behind. That's how it is. So like the club scene in New York and, and, and Miami, New York is dope because you know they keep they keep doing stuff, but Miami, I feel like they got bigger like clubs and it's just a different scene. It's you know, it's a lot of tourists. You are next to the beaches, you're next to, you know. New York is just home, man. Um I I I, I definitely being raised over there, bro, it, it, it shows you how to like it's the concrete jungle. So you know you gotta basically do what it do. I mean out here this is a jungle too. And in Miami, it's a jungle as well. I, I could really, you know, New York is home. New York is where I was born and, and where I was blessed to come out of, but I spent 10 years of my life in Miami. Now, you know, I'm out here in LA, so like, I'm just, I, yeah, I'm everywhere, man. All right, so top five food. Obviously, you know I'm from New York, so I'm gonna go five pizza. Pizza's dope. Every pizza in New York, bro, is fire. Every pizza in New York is hitting. 
I promise you there's nothing like New York pizza. Obviously, you guys probably know, there's also good brick oven pizza, and I heard in Chicago, but New York is home for pizza. Um, you can never go wrong with Chinese food in New York either. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, shrimp fried rice, chicken wings, you can never go wrong with that. You can you can never go wrong with the chicken broccoli. So at number three, we're gonna go, I love Jamaican food, man. Jamaican food is fire. Jamaican food is fire. If I could have two favorites, I would put Jamaican and Haitian food. The tazote, the griot, the fucking, yo, us Dominicans have this thing called Sancocho, right? And um, the Haitians, you know how we share the island, right? Those are like our brothers. Like, we're all the same, believe it or not. Like, people say, oh, no. No, we're the same, bro. They're just in a different side of the island, you know what I'm saying? They have this thing called soup jamun. They eat, like, I think it's like on New Year's, but it's the same exact thing as Sancocho, bro. And that shit is just fire. It's fire. Um, at number two, I'm gonna be honest with you. And it's because it's spicy. You know what I'm saying? Mexican food is fire, bro. Mexican food is fire. I love tacos, I love the fajitas. I love, you know, you can, you can never go wrong with Mexican food. You can never go wrong with Mexican food. Like, they got the sauce too. Um, at number one, like I told you, I'm from New York. I would have to say Dominican food. Growing up, mango, platano con salami. Like, you can never go wrong with that. If you guys don't know about mango, you guys should try it. It's definitely dope. Um, that's about it, you know what I'm saying? When I left New York and I moved to Florida, um, you know, eventually I moved to Tampa in the beginning, so I had to find, you know, the Dominican spots that were there. But there would be times where, you know, you're like, damn, dog, I'm coming up, you know, and I'm out here and I'm 19, 20, and I'm like, yo, I gotta, I gotta get this food that, you know, that mom makes at home. So you call mom and you're like, yo, I gotta start whipping up the dishes. So obviously, you know, I could cook rice and beans with chicken, you know, with pollo guisado. I could cook rice and beans with, and, Steak and say, well, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Moro, which is like rice and beans mixed together. Like, it's a whole bunch of stuff, you know? You grow up doing it and you have to like make the dishes like eventually, cause you're not gonna eat the same thing every day. You know what I'm saying? So um, top five cities, uh, definitely, I'm gonna go at number five. I'm gonna go at Boston. Boston is just different, bro. It's like a little New York. It's a, no offense to Boston, I, I love Boston. But I like, I like Boston because it gives me that at home feel, you know what I'm saying? And number four, I would have to say Chicago's dope. I like Chicago. Chicago is just like, it's, it's a different environment. They got different foods, they got, you know, it's, it's, a different, it's a different culture. Every city you go to is gonna have a different culture. It's cold, yeah, that's the truth. But you know, being in New York, you're in the concrete jungle, it doesn't get no colder than that. Yeah. The only place that I have seen like, being cold and where I went to college at was in Vermont. And bro, Vermont, like when it snows, the good thing is that it's open land. You know what I'm saying? The thing is that in New York, it, it freezes. It really freezes, like the snow freezes. And this place is so big that it's just snow. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is that it snows a lot. So I've seen mooses out there, bro, on the campus. And I'm like, what the hell? What is a moose doing here? Like, it's crazy. They're near Canada, bro, bro. Shout out to Tory by the fact, Toronto, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go New York at number three. The reason why I'm gonna go at New York at number three is because obviously that's where we're from, you know, and um, you, you, always, you always end up going back home, you know? Eventually, maybe not to live, but you always end up going back home to, you know, visit family, visit friends, um, experience where you came from, and basically the culture you grew up in, you know? The special spot touches the heart, right? You know what I'm saying? Number two, LA, bro. I fuck with LA. Like, LA is just so different, bro. Yo, bro, LA is like, to me, to me, this is my opinion, you feel me? And it's got its own sauce. LA is different. But if New York and Miami had a baby, it's fucking LA, bro. It's just so, this shit is exotic, bro. This shit is like, like, this is just a different type of stream, bro. Like, this shit is like, it's mountains with buildings, the fucking hot, the heat, the scenery. Yo, I need to call LeBron and I need to get him to make the call. You know, I need to I need to join the Lakers, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, make that call, LeBron. But um, but yeah, man, I definitely like it out here. At number one, I spent 10 years of my life 
in Florida, and I would have to say Florida's definitely been good to me, man. Like Tampa, going from Tampa and basically, you know, a city that nobody really, really paid like much mind to like 10 years ago, you know, 15 years ago. And you got so much talent out of there. Like, I don't know if you guys heard of Rod Wave, Young Dread, uh, LA the Goat, yeah. You know, it's the whole, oh, basically St. Pete, the whole Tampa region, you know what I'm saying? Um, Tampa's just like, it's a different culture and it really, it really makes you tap into the South. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Atlanta, I would say in a sense, you know? Um, Orlando was dope too, but Tampa was really like home. I'm excited they got a, uh, it was like bittersweet for me when they got Tom Brady because uh, I didn't really, I didn't really like uh, football like that. Like football, I played it in, in high school, obviously as a sport, but um, I really, I really didn't, you know, I really didn't tap into that. But um, when I started living in Tampa, when they drafted Jameis Winston, Jameis Winston like really like took me in, like, you know what I'm saying? Like him and Champ and the whole family, they like took me in so they would invite me to the games and shit like that. And I, I did Jameis Winston's camp, DJ for his camp in uh, FSU. It was bittersweet, but I'm just happy the city's winning right now, man. The city, shout out to Jameis Winston, shout out to Tom Brady, um, both definitely elite athletes and they both doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, Tampa, Orlando, Miami, with Miami, you know, it was different, man. It was, it was, it was something that for me, it was, I feel like God presents you situations in your life where he plants you in this spot, right? And he makes you meet certain people, right? And when he, like, he makes you meet these certain people and you know, you see these people and then you just leave. You know what I'm saying? But like eventually around life, it comes right back around with those same certain people. So like, I went to Barry University. I stood there for like six months when I first moved to Florida. And in six months, right? I mean, my brother Zoe Dollars. This was before Zoe Dollars blew up. Young, humble kid through my brother Benny. Zoe was like a mentor to me, you know, me, me and him being the same age, but he also put me on game to a lot of things. Eventually, Zoe blew up with the blow check. And, um, you know, I left to Tampa. I would always like, yo, that's my man. It's like, you know, before this happened, like he was just here with me. So I'm blowing, I'm blowing blow a check out the roof in Tampa. You know, and um, basically, I come back to Miami, and there's my brother, you know, to help me basically also get my feet wet in Miami when I move back out there and, you know, try to get my name out there in the streets. So, Zoe Dollars, 305 Benji Montana, my cousin also, definitely helped me out. GP Radio, definitely helped me out, my manager brother. Um, it was definitely, Miami was, was, was a dope experience, you know, and shout out to also Booby Trap. You know, Booby Trap is, is a big club. We did a lot of things there. Me and uh, the great legend, may he rest in peace, Prince Marquis D. That's a goat right there. Prince Marquis D, that's a goat. That's a pioneer for hip hop. If you don't know who Prince Marquis D is, you don't know hip hop, like for real. Um, but yeah, Miami was dope, man. I love, I love the scenery, the jet skis, the boats, the lifestyle, you know, the clubs. Miami's Miami. Top five weed strains. I'm gonna definitely go at number five. You could say Kush. You know, you can never go wrong with OG Kush. You know what I'm saying? It smokes good. Shout out to Kush Factory. You go over there. You got some bud. Definitely at number four. I'm gonna go New York. You can never go wrong with Haze. Haze is dope in New York. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a you know, still active. You can smoke and be active and do your thing. And you know, it's just, I think it's a sativa, right? Those are the ones that make you active, yeah, so, yeah, so he's, um, the haze is good. Uh, at number three, I would have to go uh, Gelato. Gelato's fire, bro. Gelato's just that, that Zaza, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's definitely good, bud. Number two, I, I, I want to say Granddaddy Perp, but I don't know where he's been at, you know what I'm saying? Also, you know what else is going at his stink, and I just want to say it's number one for me, and you should know that because I'm from New York. Hour. Of course, bro. Like, come on. Where, where has it been? Like, where has it been? Where is it? Like, it doesn't taste the same no more. It's not like, 
yo, farmers, growers, please bring that shit back, man. Like, bring it back. You know, New Yorkers miss that shit. You remember the first time you smoked weed? Yeah, I was in, I was in Jersey, bro. I was in Jersey, my boys, we, we smoked, you know. I was so paranoid, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you 15, your parents is Dominican, you know, they're gonna be like, oh, this kid is a delinquent. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't, you gotta, you gotta go take him to a therapist or some shit, you know what I'm saying? But um, uh, the first time I tried it, bro, I was so paranoid and I had the illest cotton mouth, bro, that I, uh, I looked up at the ceiling and I felt like the shit was like, like just moving a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Um, I went, I had the munchies, I go and take the fucking Chips Ahoy. I open the Chips Ahoy. I'm, I'm eating the Chips Ahoy. Meanwhile, I got the cotton mouth, so I feel like the cookie monster. You know when the cookie monster used to eat the cookies and shit just coming out, you know what I'm saying? That's how far I grabbed the milk. I grabbed the milk, you know what I'm saying, and from the fridge. And I just start like, I don't even care about pouring into the cup at this point. Like I'm just fucking smacked. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm drinking the milk, trying to get right. I go to my boys and I'm like, yo, listen, like obviously, you know, you don't want to look, you don't want to look like, oh, this nigga, you know, he's scared type shit. So I go to my boys, yo, I'm out, you know? But I was, I was shitting bricks, bro. I go to my house, I see one of my friends down the block and he stops me and he's like, yo, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm not even trying to pay mine to him. I'm just thinking about home. So now peep game. I go home and I take a shower, right? So I take a shower, but I take a shower with hot water. What does that shit does? That shit boosts your eye even more. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm, I'm home, I take, a, I take a shower, it's hot water, I'm smacked. Parents ain't home yet, you know what I'm saying? So what do I do? I go to sleep. Thank God they wasn't home because if they would have found out, that would have been my pops, that would have been my head, you know? Later I found out, you know, Papa Fleet hits the joint too, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they, they want to keep that, they want to keep a good, a good image with you when you're growing up, so that was my first experience smoking bud, bro. Thank you.